What's up, what's up, what's up? It's another episode of Inside of Ties. I've been running like crazy this morning, so I'm driving Lyft, and I've been busy and picking people up, so I didn't get to come in and drop the episode this morning, so we're getting into it this week, and we got a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about, and um, let me add some time to it. I'm going to go with 3.59 for the amount of time I need to get started. Big, big week, of course. The Warriors won the NBA championship, so the whole world is like, wow, KD won a championship, and people are mad, people are on Facebook arguing and stuff like that, and everybody's arguing. I'm simply looking at Facebook like, man, Facebook's getting paid off all of this ad revenue, and all of these guys that are talking about this stuff on Facebook don't realize how much money they're giving away by talking about it on Facebook. You dudes need to go get a website, monetize it, and start talking about the stuff on your website. If you want to be an armchair analyst and you got 100 dudes coming on your stuff, start a website. Why not get paid? I mean, it makes sense to me. You know, I can barely get people to read my website and I'm actually giving you good information. But these dudes get like 100 comments. It's crazy. But anyway, not going to complain about that. Extremely busy week in sneakers. And we're at 307. So I'll make sure I stay on top of this time. But um, only two companies I'm going to get into this week. The first one's going to be Under Armour. So obviously you can see over here when I get to move in my mouse and I'm starting to point at the screen. Over here, um, Elaine Lowe, who writes on Investors.com, dropped a bombshell that nobody paid attention to. Um, stock analysts downgraded Under Armour's um, value this past week. Everybody's been talking about the big topic, which I'm going to get to, but... She did. She wrote this article while she was talking about the big topic. And I was like, wow, nobody's paying attention. But you're talking about Under Armour being downgraded by these stock analysts is not a good thing for the brand. Because if you guys don't understand the way the stock market works, what happens is basically any everyday person can go out and buy a share of a company. And um, that company gets to access that cash to create more cash that they can pay people back is basically an investment opportunity. So if the stock analysts are downgrading, that means fewer people are going to be buying the stock, which is not a good thing for um, Under Armour. Now, I'm not surprised by this downgrade because let's look at why they said it. Um, basically, sales estimates and expectations for stores will shrink their exposure to Under Armour in response to the poor product segmentation and little progress in fixing the problem. In other words, what they're saying is that stores are getting ready to start canceling orders with Amazon. And that's uh, not Amazon. I'm sorry about that. With Under Armour. Um, that, that's huge. And I want you guys to understand how important that is, man. If stores begin to take away that channel for Under Armour to sell, that's not a good look for the brand, man. It's not a good look at all because now the brand's going to have to figure out how to distribute that merchandise. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it because they have not adjusted and adapted to the new digital marketing society and the, and the economy and online and e-commerce. They just have not been doing a very good job of it. And I prove that point by going to, here's Steph Curry, gets a double-double in the closeout game of the NBA championship and what does Under Armour do? They allow Nike to drop a stupid, dope commercial for Debate This for, Ke for Kevin Durant. And they use the old dirty bastard with Shimmy Shimmy Ya. And I'm like, dude, that's a great commercial. And I'm waiting on the Under Armour commercial. And there's no commercial. So I run to the website and I go look at the website. And there's nothing on the website. They just got this picture up that's right here. And then they put these t shirts. And now they're going to re-release the Curry one. And I'm like, and I'm losing it in my head. I'm like, man, Under Armour has such a unique opportunity. And they're not capitalizing on anything. And they're allowing basically Steph Curry to go to waste. I mean, I, and, and it's frustrating. It's, it's really frustrating to me because I think Under Armour could really make a dent in Nike's progress. And they can kind of disrupt Adidas if they took the right steps. But they it just over and over again, it seems like the same thing over and over that they keep making the same mistakes. Now, I'm going to put this article down here because you guys need to read it. Now, uh, the, the thing is, I know I'm going over time. I said I was going to do four minutes, but I haven't even touched on the Nike issue. So this is going to be a long episode. I want you guys to stay with me. And what I'll do is down in the description, I'm going to break it up and I'm going to put the links to the article. So you'll be able to skip to the section that you want to go to 
and you'll be able to just go straight to the article and read it because of some good detailed information here where I talk about how Under Armour continuously fails Steph Curry and it's not a good look for the brand. All right, now, next two topics. This is the biggest one of the week. Nike is laying off 1,400 people. Now, that haven't, it, it hasn't been kind of laid out in detail exactly where those layoffs are going to happen, but I'm not surprised by this in the least. If somebody sent me an inbox and they say, hey, what do you think about the layoffs? And I'm like, well, you know, I can't really comment on it in that way, but it's not surprising to me. And if you have been following the things that I've been saying for the last year and a half, almost two years, where I talked about the mom and pop shops going out of business in this video, and when I talk about when Nike wins, who loses, if you haven't been following that stuff, you got to go back and reread all of these articles. You got to reread these articles because this is not a surprise at all. Not a surprise at all. 1,400 people will be laid off. Adidas accelerated it. And that's something very important to know. <clears throat> but during the conference call, the last conference call, there were two things mentioned, triple-double, edit to amplify. Both of these things were a discussion on scaling back the release of product, and they were basically a talk about scaling back on other different things inside of Nike. So it's only natural if Nike is going to begin to scale back on things that people are going to have to go. So... This is detail. You got to get into it. So you need to go back and read the article. Like I said, this is a longer episode than I even planned. But my final topic, my final topic. And remember, everything's going to be broken down here at the bottom so you can go back and read it. Final topic. Um, KD, debate this. The video, dope. Loved it. Thought it was perfect marketing. And it was smart. But it will not increase the sale of KD's shoes. Now, on this article, I explain why the shoes won't sell. And it has a deeper problem than just the surface. Oh, running shoes are on trend. Oh, casual shoes are on trend. Oh, retro is on trend. It's a deeper problem than that. This is a problem that's affecting all of sports right now. And if Nike and Adidas and all of these other brands don't get a grasp on it, we're going to continuously or more uh, or more often see um, performance brands begin to kind of shrink, continue to shrink. Now, I thought that they were going to go back up, but then I realized that, you know what, the market has truly changed. And what we have to start thinking about as people who are in marketing or in footwear and talking about trying to get jobs and be owners and things like that in this market is that it's very... It's a really detailed thing. I talk about it in the article. You need to go and read it. But when you have a whole generation of kids who realize that they cannot make their high school team, they can't make their high school team in no way if they don't play travel ball, AAU ball, and all these other things, you have a completely different set of dynamics in place when it comes to footwear and sportswear that wasn't in place when we were coming up or the last generation, or the people that are like the last 15 years ago, you have a whole group of kids now who are alienated from sports. They can't make the team at their high school because their high, high school team is basically fielded in the summertime and they play year-round from the age of 10. And it's killing off a lot more than people think it is. It's a bigger story. That's it for Inside of Ties this week. I know it went long. I almost want to apologize, but I don't because we need these dope kind of videos and not just, yo, it's your boy. But I do have these if you guys are like, yo, it's your boy and I want some sneakers. I got these Australia NMDs. If you want them, I'll put them on the site at retail plus shipping. I won't even try to mark them up or anything like that and try to get over it because that's not what we do. We take care of each other. Boom. That's it. Inside the tie. See you guys next week. Peace.